Hi, welcome to Maggie Chance Books. Today I'm going to do my March TBR. I'm really going to just do a couple books that I want to read in March that I pretty much know for sure I'm going to read because I'm excited for them. I notice a lot of times when I do a TBR, I only read about a third to half of the books and then add different ones. So I thought I would do this group now for maybe the first half of March for sure and then add some more books later. There's quite a few read-alongs. There's a challenge for mystery books, a challenge for middle grade books, for middle, middle grade March, I believe it's called. And then I also found out that BookTube has a science fiction fantasy award, and they have a group out there that is doing read-alongs for those books, so I also wanted to join that. So, these are the books I know for sure I'm going to read. The first is from our Read Around the World book club on Goodreads, and I'll link that below in the description box and it is Clear in the Sea Light by Eldwidge Danicat I believe is how you say her name. I'm going to read that one on a Kindle book and that is our Read Around the World book club selection for March. The next three books are books that were selected for the BookTube Science Fiction Fantasy Awards and we are doing read-alongs in March, April, and May I believe. So I'm going to do three of the read-alongs. And the first book I'm going to read is All Systems Read, The Murderbot Diaries. And this is by Martha Wells. This book is pretty short. It is about, in the future, uh, there's robots. A lot of things are owned by the company, as they call it, on the description. And safety isn't a really big concern. So there is a company that's in a far-off planet that is doing some work and apparently the droids are with them so I believe something happens and I don't know much more about that but this is one of the finalists for the science fiction award. And the next book is Nevermore The Trials of Morgan Crow and this is by Jessica Townsend. This is a middle grade book and it is a read-along that we're also doing in March. This book is about a girl. She's born on the unluckiest day of the year which means anything that goes wrong she can be blamed for it and her life takes a turn when she's asked to try out for a certain position. I don't know much more than that and I really don't want to because I heard it was really, really good. Um, Michelle from Marvel Enthusiast read this and really enjoyed it. Everyone that's read it has said nothing but good things about this book and I'm anxious to read this one. The next book that's also a read long and a nominee for the Science Fiction Fantasy Award and that is The Bear and the Nightingale by Katherine Arden. This book a lot of people gave really hard marks to, especially in 2017. It is a retelling of a Russian folktale and it is written, this is this author's first book that she's ever written. I believe there's a book already out that follows up on this or it's coming out soon so I wanted to read this one and also discuss it with folks on uh, Goodreads before I the next book came out or I got the next book. So that's the only four books I'm committing to right now. I think they will be quite fun in February. I've done a lot of heavy reading by a lot of really great female authors and I'm ready for something a little bit lighter so I'm looking forward to doing the science fiction fantasy. If you've read any of these books please let me know what you thought of them. If you're going to join in an in any of the readathons, please let me know that as well. That is all for now. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.